Guess where I'm going today, guys. Drum roll, please. About to go to a rage room. That's right, I said it. I'm going to a rage room. That's exactly what I need. I need to get my rage out. Um, fish. Look at my nail. You can see my nail. <laughs> Yummy. I figured I would get a good meal before I go smash some shit. Just that good bang bang shrimp. If you guys come to Bonefish Grill, you have to get the bang bang shrimp. This shit is amazing. It'll make your tongue slap your brains out. To get my rage out. So this is gonna be great. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go to a rage room forever. Forever. And I just I've never I've never got to go, but today is the day. Oh my god, this plane looks like it's coming. Looked like this plane was coming straight from my head. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I'm about to go to a rage room. I'm really excited, guys. I'm so excited. I don't even know what to expect. I think you have to put on a suit maybe and I don't know. The the thing is it's only like 15 minutes, which kind of sucks because I was hoping to have like a good 30 minutes. I, mean, I got a lot of rage in there. 15 minutes, I ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna have to they book me for a day over here. <laughs> book me for a day. I need a whole day to get out my I need more than that. Book me for a month. If I could just go every day, I'd be happy. You know what I mean? So I'm excited. I hope they let me vlog. I don't know if they're gonna let me vlog, but I'm not gonna ask. I'm just gonna go in with my tripod. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's a sales tactic. When I used to work in the mall, and I used to sell these like travel steamers. By the way, excuse how I look. Like I seriously have major puff going on this morning, and y'all know I have bad allergies. So yeah, I look really swollen. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah. So. It's only 15 minutes, like I said, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. It's alright. I'll make the best of it. I'm thinking about putting this little doodad in my hair. It's like definitely not cute, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think about it? What do you think about it? This is a terrible angle. I need one of those things on the car that you can, you know, vlog with. This is a terrible angle, seriously. You know what I mean? Like the little doodads that you can vlog with, so you ain't gotta hold it. But I've had several of them and they just, they're cheap or something. I mean, even you buy the expensive ones on Amazon and they fall off. If any of you know better vlogging equipment when you're driving, please let me know. Because it's kind of, it's really, this is hard. And this is an awkward angle. I feel like, you guys see my gobble chin? of the land. Shaped is thy beauty, majesty. Behold, a lovely maid I see. Rags cannot hide her gentle grace. Okay, Alexa. Alas, Al Alexa. 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 Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alexa. We're gonna go smash some shit up. You wanna go, girlfriend? I'm about to go to a rage room. Do you wanna go? Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the optimist fall in love with the pessimist? Because he was a real catch. 22. Okay. Alexa, tell me a riddle. Mix me up and make a cake. Or pinch me the ball. If you guess what I am. From the stands you can call. Batter, batter, batter. You're not supposed to tell me the answer, Alexa. <laughs> Alright. Alright, goodbye. You want a Maserati? You want a Bugatti? You better work, bitch. <laughs> Since I'm going to a rage room, I should probably listen to something like 
rage against the machine. Something like that. What's a song that I can listen to, guys, to get me in the mood? I'm actually really calm today, so it's going to be... Trust me, I can channel my inner angry bitch. I'm actually in a calm mood today, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to turn some music on. Unfortunately, I can't turn it on for the video, so I'm just going to have to make my own music in my head. Wait. Unfortunately, I can't turn music on to pump me up while I go to my rage room. But I can make my own music in my head. Yes. 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 That's what I can do. I can do my dance. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I want to tell you guys a really, it's not really funny, but an interesting story. So uh, this is why your past is never your past. Your past can and will always be your present and your future. So, you know, you should always just be mindful of what you're doing before you do it because I have stayed out of trouble which I've never really gotten in a lot of trouble anyway but it doesn't mean I didn't do troublesome things and um, I was going to renew my license online and then I found out that my license was suspended yeah You know how long it's been suspended? For like four years. Four. Yeah. I just got my license back, guys. Now I got a license to drive you crazy. Now I got a license to drive you wild. <laughs> so, I, um, I called him up and then I went up there and I was like, uh, have I been driving on a suspended license for four years? That's like super illegal. I mean, think about how much that I had to be protected by the divine. And I think honestly that it's because I've changed. Oh, wow. Watch. So if you just saw that, it went by really fast. Sorry, as I was saying, um, I noticed like every little sign. I saw a fire truck earlier today and then I just saw a funeral procession. So I just document everything and take mental notes basically. But, um, so yeah, about the identification situation. And, uh, I mean, it, honestly, it's a blessing that I found out the way that I did and I didn't get pulled over or something for like a, a tail light being out. You know what I mean? I was definitely being protected. But what I was saying is I believe that I was being protected because I really changed my life. You know, I've actively quit doing everything. I've really straightened my ass up. And so I really, that's the only reason I think that I, I didn't have an unfortunate circumstance where like I rolled past a stop sign and I got pulled over. And then that's how I found out I had a suspended license. I mean, four years guys, that's pretty crazy. Four years driving on a suspended license and I had no clue and I didn't get caught or pulled over for anything. That's God. So anyways, um, I find out that it was just from the DUI that I had, which y'all know, especially on this channel that I had a DUI before and I didn't have insurance at the time. So I, I was driving around this whole time and had no clue, no clue. So anyways, the reason I say your past is always your future is because it came around again after four years. And um, it wasn't like a punishment to me. It was actually kind of good karma. Aside from the fact that I had to get a certain SR22 insurance, uh, which I never even heard of, which is super expensive. Um, but anyway, it's just part of it. It's just part of it. This is why you should stay out of trouble. Take my advice. Take my advice. This is why you should not get in trouble. And why you should be a good girl and a good boy. Yes. Alcohol is not worth it. Drinking and driving is not worth it. And it's like, super expensive. I mean, not to mention years ago, I had to go to jail. And it just costs a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. I'm still answering for things I did in the past. And I mean, that's just part of it. You know what I mean? I mean, all of us, all of you, will do the same. So just be mindful every day of what you say, what you put out there, what you do. Because your deeds come back to you. They always come back. But I, I was just like, whoa. Whoa. I mean, that's such a godsend. I mean, I didn't know whether to cry or thank God, you know, because I was just like, why? But I was glad once I sat and thought about it that I found out the way that I did and I didn't get pulled over. Anyway, so yeah, that's a fire truck that I've already passed this morning and a funeral procession. I feel good about it. It feels like a good sign to me. Usually I get, you know, I get the vibes. 
It's not a bad sign. It's like a rebirth to new life. I think, you know, it's funny that I, I happen to see all of that while I'm going to the rage room. And we just talked the other day on my um, ayahuasca video about how I have a lot of rage and pain and anger on the inside of me just from years of trauma lots of trauma and I've never gotten it out you know so I think this is a good thing I think it's a good sign I feel good about it it's a beautiful day it's a little overcast but you know wish I could listen to music and jam while I talk to you guys but maybe that just means I'll just have to start making my own music I think I would be good at my own music. It just depends on what type of music, but I got this. I got this. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the mess I made. 
this was great. If you guys haven't done this, you should definitely try. I made a mess. <laughs> I'm looking at these life straws. I already have some in storage. You know, just prepping just in case. You never know. I like to prep. I'm one of those odd females you never hear about that uh, preps like a man. Now that, I can think of a lot of naughty things to do with. Look at that right there. She is enjoying that way too much. Can you imagine doing it? Look, I found it. I found, I found what I needed. This is what I need in case of an emergency or the world goes crazy right here. <laughs> Real coffee. That's what I need, guys. Look, Milkman. That's what he said. Low fat, baby. Yes. Mm. Man, this, this place is cool, guys. This place is called Sportsman Warehouse in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I mean, they have a lot of stuff. I thought I'd waste some time, and I like camping stuff. I like survival things. I like prepping. I mean, look at this collapsible sink. That's actually really cool. It reminds me of a dog bowl, like one of those dog bowls you get off Amazon. This is like the best bathroom I've ever seen. <laughs> this is like a top-notch bathroom. <laughs> oh well, except for that. Look how nice this bathroom is. Like what in the hell? <laughs> 